Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is talking about Microsoft Edge. Uh, Microsoft Edge is the web browser that Microsoft is creating based on Chromium to go ahead and replace Internet Explorer. It's been out for quite some time, but just in the last couple days, they've released their very first stable version for Linux. If we head over to their insider channel here, as of recording this video, the download isn't officially available here. But if we go ahead and go over to the Yum repository, this is where it was first spotted. So we have the Microsoft Edge stable released on the 28th of October and another stable version released on the 29th of October. And this is the uh, version that I've been using for the duration of all the benchmarks and stuff that I've ran. So if you're running Fedora or any distribution that uses the RPM packages, you can just download it directly through there or right here. Additionally, if you're on Ubuntu, you can just get these commands right here to add the proper repositories and just do a sudo apt install Microsoft Edge stable. If you already have the beta or developer version, you could just run this command right here to go ahead and pull that stable version if you would like to. So with that, I have indeed ran a whole bunch of different benchmarking and everything's right here. I'll have this linked below if you just prefer a text version. But the first thing I went ahead and ran was Kraken. Now, the funny thing is with Kraken, this is actually a uh, JavaScript benchmark that was developed by Mozilla. And the uh, it's time, so the higher, I mean, uh, lower the better, so I need to fix that. But um, Mozilla Firefox performed the worst by a very large margin when it comes to JavaScript performance. All the Chromium browsers were fairly neck and neck with the uh, best performer being Microsoft Edge. And then actually GNOME Web came in with the best time at 633 milliseconds so that a wet GTK WebKit performed, performed very well with JavaScript. And I ran the most JavaScript tests because overall there, there's just more of them available. Jetstream 2 is another one and we have very similar results with this. This is based on score so it's higher the better and Mozilla again did not do very well with JavaScript and everything else here was fairly close and we can see that Microsoft Edge was the best again out of the Chromium based web browsers but GNOME Web again with JavaScript had a very good score. Next, this is the third and final JavaScript test, time in milliseconds, so of course lower the better. Again, Mozilla just does not do good with uh, JavaScript. It's near double when it comes to the time it took to run this test. And again, GNOME Web with that uh, GTK WebKit seems to do very good with uh, Java. And we have the same results overall with Microsoft Edge slightly scoring better, but a lot of these Chromium browsers are within the margins of error. If you are interested in seeing the margins of error on this actual post here, I have all of those listed if you want to check those out. But the very next test was the graphics testing. So this is a motion mark right here. This tests graphics rendering and things like that. And on this one, Microsoft Edge did very good. Uh, score higher the better here. And you could see Microsoft Edge here on the bottom with a lead over Vivaldi by a good portion. But then we have some of the other Chromium based web browsers coming in just barely above Firefox. And this is when GNOME Web kind of falls and it's uh, GNOME Web good for Java JavaScript, but it doesn't really do very good going forward here. So when it comes to graphics rendering, Microsoft Edge is a clear winner with Vivaldi uh, coming in fairly close. And then next we have Speedometer, and this is just measured general uh, browser responsiveness. This one was a lot tighter, and again, a lot of things within that margin of error. But even with that, this is uh, measured in runs per minute, so the higher the better because the more times it was able to run. And we have Microsoft Edge coming in at 139 runs per minute with Vivaldi a, oh no, it was a, it was second place and then I added Brave in there because I knew a lot of people would want to see that. Brave barely beat out Vivaldi, but a lot of these are fairly close. We did have GNOME Web coming in at the bottom and then a Chromium, just the normal open source Chromium base and Firefox tied in at 132 runs per minute. So if we close that out here, we have our last and final test. This is more of a general test. It runs a whole bunch of different things that measures HTML5 and JavaScript performance, uh, including things like homework tests, uh, SVG renders, whole bunch of different things. And with this, Microsoft Edge again came in the lead barely beating out Vivaldi by two points. And then for this one, GNOME Web actually came in third place. And this is more of a generalized test. So I do believe that this uh, score chart right here is more 
uh, reflective of what you might see in actual performance with some of the other tests where uh, more specific very specific use cases. So with this, Microsoft Edge first place, then Valvari, and then GNOME Web came in third, followed up by Brave, and closely behind Brave was Mozilla Firefox, and actually last place was just the base Chromium project at 179. So overall, it looks like Microsoft actually did a pretty good job with uh, Microsoft Edge on Linux. It beats out a lot of the uh, the typical web browsers that people use on Linux, whether that be by a couple points or by fairly wide margins. Now, all this is coming from somebody like myself who primarily uses Firefox, which uh, either scored very low or somewhere in the middle in most of these tests. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and link to this forum post with all these specific numbers and the margins of errors. If you'd like to go ahead and check those out, and I'll go ahead and add links to uh, some of these benchmarks. They're all browser-based, so they're just a website you could go to. So if you'd like to, you can benchmark and test it out on your own hardware and distribution. So if performance is the most important thing to you, you could figure out what works best on your system. All these tests were run on Fedora 35, and I do have all the browser versions here, so they may differ between various distributions or different package type. All this was RPM, so if you're on Ubuntu and your Firefox is a snap package, you might want to run some of these to figure out what uh, works best with your system. Uh, with all that, I would love to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. We have Mitchell Valentino, Sledgehammer, Phil, Matt, Kyle, Timo, Anthony, and Chris Curtis. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, and thank you to all the other Techie and Techie Plus members. If you want to help support the channel, you can hit the join button down below or head over to Patreon. And if you don't feel like supporting the channel financially, simply liking this video, subscribing, maybe sharing these videos with some of your friends is more than enough for me. With all that said, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day, and goodbye.